they certainly fit. This is... Sit down! He's coming! No! I think my brilliant equation might have screwed us up! No! You're supposed to sit down! Now he knows you're trying to escape! But most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. You are not one of them. You are not one of them. You need to hide. They are coming. You leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. 
Not to undermine your efforts, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened, and I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. And that fella over there isn't much of a talker. Plus, it's scary here. That big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. Every time we move or change something in the room, let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry, I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be.
Shit. <laughs>